Can you explain Adam, Eve, Cain, Seth, and Abel in your models? This collection of names refers to the first family of the book of Genesis, the first people to have been created by God, according to the myth of the Abrahamic religions. In my own research, and thus in the POD's historical records, these were each meant to symbolize one of the pre-human species alive in the epochs leading up to the earliest appearance of the Homo sapien species. So, Adam represented the Australopithecus species, Eve, the proto-hominid species, Cain, the Cro-Magnon species, Abel, the Neanderthal species, and Seth, the original human. It is explained in Genesis that Cain killed Abel and that Cain's lineage died off in the Great Flood, leaving only the bloodline of Seth as the origin of the human genome. The relation between these three brothers, Cain, Abel, and Seth, as the sons of Adam and Eve, can be seen as a relation between good and evil, in which evil, Cain, triumphs over good, Abel, temporarily, but ultimately the middle way, Seth, survives the longest. Thus, this group of concepts can also be applied to the better and worse future timelines that revolve around the middle or mainstream timeline. I predict that, instead of the triumph of Seth as the middle way, we will see the mainstream timeline coming to an end with the impact of the asteroid Apophis in 2029, followed by a massive divide between the better and worse futures. In short, in 2029, the Seth timeline will end, and after then, only the Cain and Abel timelines will continue. <laughs>